new details in a 13 News Now investigation into a botched murder case. He definitely got away with murder. Tonight, a victim's family blames Virginia Beach prosecutors for failing to get them justice, and the Commonwealth's attorney is taking responsibility. He admits a mistake in his office led to the dismissal of murder charges. 13 News Now investigative reporter Laura Geller is back from the courthouse with details. A fatal error. That's what the Virginia Beach Commonwealth's attorney is calling the advice the city's number two prosecutor gave during a murder trial. That error led to both a dismissal of charges for the accused killer and dismissal from his job for that chief deputy. A grieving mother coming to terms with a tragic reality. All we wanted was justice, but I guess we got to let the Lord do it. The city's top prosecutor, Colin Stolle, is taking responsibility for the decision made in his office, which led us here. I express my deepest apologies for the mishandling of this case. But that doesn't ease Brenda Tate's pain. Is sorry enough for you all? Oh, no, sorry ain't enough for me. Here's why. Now, the Commonwealth's attorney can never again prosecute Leander Williams III for the murder of Tate's son, Antonio Cameron. Today's court hearing confirms what 13 News Now was first to tell you. A jury was seated in this murder trial Tuesday, but on Wednesday, one of the prosecutors called out sick. Chief Deputy Commonwealth's attorney Scott Vacris advised the remaining prosecutor to make a motion to null pros the charges, essentially dismissing this case. But because the trial had already started, prosecutors can never bring back these murder and gun charges. The family members just told us that they believe Leander Williams got away with murder and they blame the Commonwealth's Attorney's Office for that. How do you respond to that? We find ourselves here today with this matter being dismissed and that is directly uh, as a result of a decision made in my office. Um, and, and so they're, they are correct. Scott Vacris is a well-respected career prosecutor. Stolle says the firing sent shockwaves through his office. Some mistakes are inexcusable and require swift and immediate action. He's now committed to take training back to the basics of these legal concepts. Moving on for Cameron's family won't be as simple. He still will be missed. He's still going to be my son. Nothing was going to bring him back anyway. Stolle says despite Vacris's impeccable record, he saw no other discipline options besides termination in a situation like this. We reached out to Vacris to see if he had an explanation for giving this advice, but we haven't heard back. Leander Williams III had no comment on his way out of court. Laura Geller, 13 News Now. Is there something going on that you think 13 News Now should investigate? Email your tip to investigate at 13newsnow.com.